He killed a bear on Thursday with his bow. And his buddy killed a bear on, on Friday with his bow. Hunting over an oak flat, a white oak flat, there was just so many acorns on the ground, it was unbelievable. They weren't all that big of bears, but they were nice bears. I can't tell you just this in every way. At one time I said, and then I'll be quiet. At one time I said, what if you were a basketball team? Now think about what I'm going to say, because I'm going to give you some real life wisdom. What if you were a basketball team, and your basketball team had players on the team? What if I said you, you have in West Virginia, your West Virginia team has the four most beautiful seasons on the planet, and that player is LeBron James? And then what if I said to you, you're located within a rock's throw of two-thirds of the population of the country, and that player is Stephen Curry. And then what if I said to you, you abound in natural resources beyond belief, coal, oil, gas, timber, water, so many natural resources it's off the chart, and that player is Kevin Durant. And then what if I said to you that you, you are the greatest people on the planet. You're faith-based. You're good people that know the difference between right and wrong all the time. Absolutely craftsman. And that player is Jerry West. Now, you have four out of five players on the basketball team that are unbelievable. Explain to me just this. How in the world could we have been 50th? You had those things before I ever got here. The one thing you didn't have, the one thing you really didn't have, is you didn't have a leader of the band that could go out and tell the world just how really good you are. You see, forever the world has thought West Virginia was backward and absolutely troubled in lots of ways, and dingy and dark and all those bad things, and we had every bad joke in the world told about us. But you know what? Today, the world is beginning to see how really good you really are. They're beginning to think of you as a diamond in the rough that they miss because you are. We need to keep going. We're on the launch pad. Today, we're going to give away 27 different grants, a million and a half dollars. Today, I think the state has given away 44.4 Jerry West number, 44.4 million dollars of recycling grants. And you realize, look outside. Just go outside and look. The most pristine air, the most beautiful of the most beautiful of the most beautiful. And you know what? With these grants, you continue to clean West Virginia up more and more and more and more. So today, with incredible pride, because you're talking to a guy that has been with me. At one time, believe it or not, I was skinny. <laughs> and then I grew another body. I don't do anything bad in my life. I've never smoked. I don't drink. I don't, I've never done any drug in any way, shape, form, or fashion. The only thing in the world I do bad is I eat too much. <laughs> now, but while I was skinny, which was a long time in my life, and even when I began to get a little chunky, up until when I just destroyed my knees, and I did that by playing a lot of sports when I was too slow that I couldn't get out of the way, I got hit a lot. But the long and short of the whole thing is just this. Nobody's been in the woods more than me. I don't care what you say. Nobody has been in the woods hunting more than me. Even today, I follow a little bird dog along on my four-wheeler and limp to her and everything when she's on point on a grouse. Even today, I'm still in the woods a lot because I love it. 
I've crawled on my belly on some big little native trout strings. It's unbelievable with a five foot fly rod and would pull the fly back and shoot it on the water because the string wasn't three foot wide. And if I caught a little native rookie that was five inches long, it was like catch, catching a tarpon. I've been there so much, it's unbelievable. I want pristine everything about West Virginia. I want jobs, and I want manufacturing, and I want all of our natural resources used, and I want all that, but I want just what you want to. Your communities to stay clean and prosperous in every way. Because I want your great, 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 great grandchildren to be able to crawl on those native trout streams and to be able to see what we see outside here every single day. So, if I could have Dennis come up here and we've got 27 grants to give away, we'll give them away quickly as we possibly can and we're proud of it. And we thank you for all you do and all your communities and all over the place. Thank you. City 
in Charleston in the amount of $45,000 to assist with recycling coordinator ranges and a feasibility study. Now, 
guy needed to be from that <laughs> <laughs> okay, Also from Montego, Canada today is the WVU Research Corporation with a grant award of $18,025 to assist with expansion of the recycling program and sustainability efforts at the Potomac State College campus. Also with us today is Pleasants County Solid Waste Authority. The grant award of $69,510 will be used to assist with personnel, training and education, equipment, and operational expenses to support the county's recycling program. Grant award amount of $69,000 will be used 
fund vehicle costs and operational expenses for the growing textile recycling program. Thank you. 